Hello everybody, this is me, Sam here Group Gaming, and today we're going to be going over the Nether Portals plugin for Bucket, um, and obviously it's part of the Multiverse plugin sector, which I'm currently working my way through. Okay, so what does Nether Portals do? Well, despite the name, it, it actually encompasses end portals too. But what it will do, it allow you to sort of configure the default Minecraft uh, Nether Portals and end portals for your world. So with default Minecraft players can create nether portals um, in the normal world, they can teleport to the nether and that's all you can do. But with this plugin you can define your custom worlds, so your skylands, your generated worlds that have these portals and they can take them to another custom generated nether. Um, that sort of thing. So it's quite cool. But what I've done before, just let you know, so if I do NV list, we have obviously our a Wooper world which we created in the first one. I've also created another one called Wooper Nether, no underscore, um, which is also type Nether, um, just to show you. So you don't actually have to have um, it as a Nether world, but I will just show you just for uh, obviously the reasons. So MVP, MVP, I always say that, MVNP link. So we're going to define the type of portal now. So it can either be end or nether. I'm going to use nether portals as the tutorial. It works exactly the same thing with end portals. The from world, so whooper, and the to world, so whooper, nether. So now we've linked uh, the nether portals in whooper, and they'll go to the whooper nether. Now these do work as a one to one ratio. So I can, right, if I use sponges for instance, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so these are 12 distances apart. So basically that means if I go through this one, you can see now if I place a sponge, oops, and then I teleport back, so MVTP. I'll just show you, I am in actually in the Whoop and Nether world now, not just default by doing MV info. You can see here Whoop and Nether, so that all works fine. So let's teleport back to Whooper. And I shall now jump through this portal. Ooh, it's actually doing the effect this time. And you can see here, it's a, uh, well, the problem with this is that it has teleported us to this bit here. Mainly because where we were going to spawn would be over here and we would die immediately. So it's compensated and moving us over, but it does work as a one-to-one -one correspondence. Uh, just to sh I will explain this better. So let's just go back to Wooper, and I will show you with a default world, just so you, sh you can see it doesn't have to be for Nether, and the one-to-one -one ratio works. So let's unlink it by doing NVMP unlink the Nether portals, and then define the, uh, the world from. So just Wooper. So there we go, we have unlink unlinked it. Uh, and then we're going to link them again, so mvmp link nether, I'm going to link whooper just to the default world. So you don't actually have to sp specify it as the nether world type, you can choose absolutely anything, which makes this just a great plugin. So hit enter, now we've linked the whooper world with just the normal default world. Just to show you this, mvmp show shows all the links so it goes to the world uh, so does just shows you where all the nether portals go so there you go so now if I go through this give it some time I get teleported onto this tree okay and then so I'm going to place down this oak planks just to show you where I teleported now let's uh, TV back and jump in this portal here just to show you the one-to-one -one correspondence and there we go you can see this is where the tree landed as you see that I did put an obsidian on it earlier so now if I count the blocks so you can see there's the wood so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve more or less um, obviously I might have spawned slightly by one block but you can see here the scale is one to one 
which is really quite cool because what it allows you to do is obviously you can have like a portal in this world um, and it will correspond to the exact location on the other one so if you worked it out well you can create a nice little house where they interact with each other and what is quite cool as well I can now sort of link this world to the Wooper world using nether portals so I'm going to do nvnp nether to define the type and then world and then Wooper so what have I done there? Oh, obviously I've got the fine link. So MVMP link. And now we've linked the nether portals to Wooper on the world. And we've also done it the way back. So we do MV, MV show. You can see there, Wooper goes to the world and world also goes to Wooper. So when we create a nether portal in this location, so let's just create one really quick. So let's just create a nether portal and it should obviously send us to uh, the Wooper world but also where we had our uh, the other portal. There you go, look, we've got one to one correspondence from what's a charm and you can see how um, easy it is and how great it works. So you can see now we uh, linked Wooper world to the normal world and also back. And I really like that feature about it. Obviously you don't have to do it that way. You can have it just another and just one way for instance. Um, but I think it's a pretty cool way of doing it, if I'm honest. Okay, um, there is quite a lot of config for this. Um, I think I have rambled along enough though. Maybe um, if you're interested I will go over the config at some point. Okay then, so thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam K for Gaming, signing out. <laughs>